Camtasia Studio 8. So now first of all, this is what it's going to look like when you load up Camtasia Studio 8. It's probably a little complicated, but it actually isn't. It's simple and it's nice and easy. First thing that you want to do when you start this is you want to import your media. That means like import your gameplay and all that stuff. So we are going to click on that, left click, and we are going to go up to First of all, let me get my intro. So if you guys have an intro, all you have to do is go to Import Media, find it, and double click it, and we'll come up there. So now we got our intro, we're gonna go find our gameplay. So I don't know, let's just go with our zombies one. And so now our two gameplays are here. And let's import some music for the video. So really quickly, we are gonna go to my music and we're gonna grab maybe, oh whoops, wrong music, wrong music. Um, we're gonna go grab pictures of, what? What's going on here? We're gonna actually grab, don't change a thing. Don't change a thing, MP3, I do not own this music legally. So, yeah. So now we got some music, I'm gonna import one little photo and and you'll see the reason later. So I'm gonna go into my contacts. I'm gonna. You probably save your. You probably save your pictures and other photos. I save mine in contact. So I'm gonna get this picture right here. And I think that's all. It. So I'm gonna grab the template of the intro. I don't. Why did I say template? I'm gonna grab the intro. We're gonna click hold and we drag it down. Do the same with the gameplay. Click hold. And drag, ding, drag. And now let's go take that. And now since our gameplay is right here, the intro starts, it's kind of laggy. And yet, now you got your main things down here. Now there's a lot more th other things you can do. First of all, um, there's something called call-ups. So, so what these do is it's like telling some, like it's like saying, like the video. And that's why I got that little like button. So here's another one right here. This, great, this video is really tiny, but it doesn't matter. If we click on here, we can change the font if we wanted to. So maybe I want this Broadway, and I want the color to be, I don't know, um, red. And I want to change the size, which you can also do 28. You can go leave a like. And you can do this. You can just say leave a like and that will come up on your video. And, and that's and now that that's there, you can go back to your clip in or, or my clip in and I can also add a photo. Um, let's create a new track and let's add that on top there and we can also if you go to the side of it you can see that little arrow there that makes it longer so let's make it as long as um, the text so now if we check that out one second oh but look at that that's way too big so if we pause it it will give us an option that we can resize it so if we can shrink it Put it right beside there. We can maybe put it on an angle if we wanted to. And just go like that. And now it's not as big. And at least you give the view at least you give the viewer an under of something something better. And so you can also change it to farther in the video. That's that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Put it maybe right here during the video. That way this part is say. And now you can go to, first there's audio that you can do, but I'm gonna save that for the music. You can also add transitions, which is perfect for your, for 
for your pictures up here. I mean, for your for the like button right here. You can go add transition, transition out. And now if we actually go and view that transition, we just go back a few seconds before it happens. It actually fades in, which looks really nice. And at the end of it, it will fade out. Which actually looks pretty dang nice. And so let's go back down. And you could also do this after the intro. So you can do a dissolve. And you just double tack to see what it looks like. Click, hold, and drag it down. Put it right there. And if you, when you play it now, as a laggy intro, it will dissolve. So, pretty neat. Now, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to grab, well, the last thing we are actually going to do is we're going to grab the music. And that will wipe out. That will wipe out the text, but we will put that back in. First of all, let me just bring that up and let's go. Then we're gonna do this really quickly. We're gonna go back and we're gonna again change the font to Broadway text red size twenty eight. And I just go leave. Oh. Frank, dang it, I hate this. It goes, sometimes it glitches out and you have to do the text thing all over again like that. And then you have to change the size, color, and now, now it will work. Leave a like. And now if we grab that. Oh, whoops, whoops, dang it. And now that we grab the text, it doesn't look like it's cooperating. You know what we don't, you know what, just put that there, change it right there. But now with the music now, as you go to audio, now you just have to see. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the music, we're going to silence it, we're going to up the volume a bit. And we're going to go down to where you can barely see it, like that. And you can add a fade in and a fade out. Same thing with um, the gameplay, fade in, fade out. And now if we play it. In the background, you can literally hear that uh, 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 music. If you want to hear it a bit more, can we uh, up the volume a little bit, so... Let's go one more. Yeah, and that's perfect. And now this is basically your video right here. You got your amazing video, you're edited, you have all the things that a normal YouTuber would have in their videos. And so, yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Bye.